Hello, brothers. This is Chuck of Chuck's Off the Grid World. I'm just going to talk today about some more damage we had from the wind, maybe directly or indirectly. And this is what what happened here. We got had to replace this spigot, uh, bathroom spigot, and this is a component off the toilet. And you say, well, how did it have anything to do with with uh, wind? Well. We spent the night in Trinidad. It was really windy and cold, and this, my RV is not even close to being a four-season RV. It's more like a one-season RV. <laughs> so it stuff freezes up in it. What, what happened to water and the wind? Because it's so cold, cracked something in there. So when you turn either the spigot on, the water would come out, and this. Same thing, There's, it got a crack in it, and uh, whenever you would flush the toilet, well, the water would go all over the place. But uh, I was able to replace this. I bought it online, uh, I think it was less than $15. I replaced this with one that I bought at Lowell's. It's actually a um, residential type sink spigot. Uh, this one's plastic. I bought it. In an RV place, uh, it wasn't very expensive, around 30 bucks or something. The one I bought at Lowell's, it's actually made of metal, I believe, and it, it was uh, about $50. There's a picture of it, but uh, it works just fine. I mean, it went on and off in maybe 10 minutes. But this one here, I had just replaced this one about uh, about a year ago, you know, and. I'm not gonna buy this kind of garbage anymore. It's just, it's just junk. Another thing that had a problem, having a problem with, is I just realized that when I got up on the roof, is that right there. What that is, is my refrigerator top. Well, when the awning started blowing back and forth, Apparently it hit that that ridge up there and it damaged the, the cover. So I'll have to replace it. I think it's about $30, $40, I'm not sure. But uh, we're uh, at Granberry, Texas. And this is our free camping site for 10 days. Um, that's the first time we've seen any cars over here. They must have taken a boat out. An old Winnebago RV has been sitting there for probably 50 years. <laughs> it's all just junk. I don't know what it's doing there, but it's it's not on this property here. It's a pretty nice boat ramp. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's quiet, relatively quiet. Other than these airplanes coming in. You can see an airplane coming in right now. There's an airport directly that direction for smaller planes. I think this is a helicopter, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it's a helicopter. But, uh, it's quiet other than uh, airplanes, helicopters. Don't like it here. Got our e-bikes in the back of the truck we got them covered up out of sight out of mine but uh, they're folded up and they're ready to go but they're folded up but uh that's just what i wanted to show you is the toilet problem and the spigot you know and you know i say well that had nothing to do with the wind well i kind of did because it got cold and windy and um I think when I camped overnight at a Walmart in Trinidad, I probably didn't run the furnace at a high enough temperature, and it got cold back in the bathroom. Either that or the next day when we're traveling. Hey, Nico, Nico, the bodyguard's here. Check her out. Hey, Nico, bodyguard, say hi. Hey, no barking, just say hi. Come on, Nico, look up here. What are you chewing on? Yeah, but anyway, when we're traveling, uh, we have a heat 
in the driver and passenger seat, but there's no real heat in the back of the RV where the bathroom is. And it's possible that the, because of the cold air and wind, that it got in that bathroom and it caused it to, to crack those those uh, fittings. But it uh, didn't seem to be a problem right at first. It took it a while to uh, really start leaking. Well, I noticed that. I didn't really notice it underneath the kitchen of uh, the bathroom sink until I went underneath there to get some toilet paper and the toilet paper was wet. So that's not good. <laughs> but uh, all right. Thank you for watching.